In MMORPGs, no matter what type of player you are, there is always one thing that every player has in common. Death. Whether you get killed by a monster, wipe a raid, fall off a cliff, or die to another player in PvP, it's something that happens to everyone. And every MMORPG does dying a little bit different. Some have lore-based reasons on why you keep coming back, and some just pretend it doesn't happen. But how will it work in Ashes of Creation? Well, Ashes of Creation will rely heavily on the risk versus reward thought process. Every reward you seek will have some kind of risk to it, even those as simple as questing for some type of new item or XP. And although not all risk is extreme as another, it's always there. When you die, the first thing to keep in mind is the status of your player. Ashes of Creation has a PvP system called the Corruption System, which depending on your status will depend on your loss. If you have not engaged in PvP whatsoever, you are called a non-combatant, otherwise recognizable with a green nameplate. Any player in this category, which will be just about everyone at the start, will suffer normal death penalties. These being things such as skill and stat dampening, lower health and mana, lower gear proficiency, drop rate reduction, dropping a percentage of carried gatherables, experience debt, which is said to be 2-3% to of your total XP, and durability loss. Durability loss won't just be a gold sink either, it will cost gold and material to repair that armor back up to good condition. Keep in mind that this is one of those systems though that will rely heavily on player feedback and testing, so none of this is final, but as you can already tell from this, there is a lot of risk to death, and you might not want to just charge at a foe for no reason. A combatant, which can be identified with a purple nameplate, are people who engage in PvP activities on a fair level, whether that be PvP objectives or fighting another combatant out in the wild, and these guys will suffer the same penalties as non-combatants, but at half the rate. For those of you who seek out to gank other players, you will be known as the Corrupt, which can be identified from a player's red nameplate. Corruption happens when you as a combatant continuously attack non-combatants in the world for fun. If you are labeled as such, you will suffer death penalties at four times the rate of non-combatants, along with having a chance to drop carried equipment and items, and the number you drop would depend on your corruption score. These items include the armor and weapons that you are carried, and they can then be looted by other players. For anyone who engages in normal PvP activities though, such as caravans or castle sieges or node sieges, there will be no death penalties applied to those types of things. Throughout the world, there are active respawn points that a player will return to life at. You won't have to spirit walk to your body or anything like that, but if you are corrupted, you will always respawn at a location in the vicinity of your previous death, and not at a regular respawn point, which will add even more risk for those of you who go that route, because dying doesn't wipe out your corruption immediately, allowing other players to have more of a chance to get even more of your gear. But death does remove a large portion of corruption. You can completely cleanse yourself through gathering XP or through specific quest chains or dying a whole bunch of times, but it's not all going to go away at once and corruption is meant to be a punishment for all of those players that you have ganked. Lore wise, when you enter the world of Vera, you are empowered with what is called the Spark of Life that comes from the Goddess of Creation. This spark houses a portion of your soul and when you die, you disintegrate into ashes and will be reborn at a respawn point, kind of like a phoenix. There will be ashes on the ground where you die to mark your location that can then be looted by any player immediately after. What are your thoughts on death in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below and if you are new to Ashes and have yet to make an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below as all referrals will go straight to helping out the channel. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.